Hello and welcome to my channel, Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading for Monday, the 26th of October. We are now well and truly in Scorpio season, so let's find out what we have. Oh, everything's coming out for this day. I think I need to reshuffle that. Uh, it could be one of those days. You never know. But yeah, we're going to look at energies around the home, general energies of the day, message from the universe, energies around love and career and love and relationships. So let's get started with this, shall we? Okay, overall message. Love and relationships, message from the universe. <coughs> oh, I'm going to pull out some Rider Waits as well. Okie dokie. All right. Let's get started, shall we? So overall message we have Mick the Biomancer. It's very much saying, look, today might be a slow day. Might be one of those days that you're asked to pay attention to a lot of details. Might actually just want to take it a bit easy, though, is the energy I'm getting intuitively from this card. It's just relax, ease into the week, slow down, relax, have a coffee break. It's kind of all slow, 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 not feeling particularly motivated. <laughs> so, yeah, and, you know, that's actually where you might need to be. That's just where you might need to be. So taking it a bit easy, which is actually nice energy. <laughs> so let's look around the home, all oh, the Ace of Pentacles and the Journeyman. Oh, wow, look at this. So... This is a little bit exciting. There's new energy coming in around the home. And this is something that I feel like, you know, you've been wanting for a while. You've been working on, you've been moving towards and a new opportunity comes up. So whether this is a new place to live, I should just feel like it's new energy. I don't feel like it's a big shift or change. I just feel like it's a nice, fresh energy that's coming in that you're feeling like everybody's, there's harmony. We're on this journey together. So, yeah, it actually, again, it's sort of this lackadaisical slow down energy, just might be finding it hard to kind of do daily chores because it's like I just, yeah, there's this, there is this new energy, but the energy is that you don't want to do much. <laughs> Which is fine, you know, you might just want to enjoy sitting and doing, not doing a lot. But yeah, there is this lovely energy around the home and, and um, you know, it might be one of those those thoughts of why don't I do this more often? Why am I always in such a rush to get out the door and I don't enjoy things? Why can't I just sit for five minutes in the sun or something like that, you know? It's just it's got this lovely golden energy to it. So career, money and career, we have the Nine of Wands and She of the Cruach. Nine and a five. Okay, what's happening on a much higher level is very different in your terms of your career. Is very different to what you might be perceiving in your 3D human reality. Uh, there's two very conflicting polar opposites. So it might be a day of just feeling a bit uh, defensive, weary. Again, there's a weariness, a tiredness to uh, being in the office like, oh, do I have to do this again? Oh, I'm so sick of doing the same thing over and over. And it's just not wanting to go back to the old routine. That's kind of the energy that's coming out overall. And it's like just things are becoming burdensome, that same old, same old. And so you're kind of not wanting to do that because what's happening in the she of the Kruak and the higher energies is that There's actually something birthing and opening up, something very fertile. It's not ready to be birthed yet, but it is, it's kind of funny energy. I'm trying to explain it. It's, it is something um, exciting happening, but it's like this rite of passage that you almost have to go through. It's like kind of going down the birth canal. It's kind of got that energy to it. So there's an opening up, but with the opening up in into like a expanded space, 
there is a sense of vulnerability with that as well on a higher level. So things are kind of moving and opening up on a higher level, but down in your kind of human world, it will be like ho-hum, ho-hum, not this again. So, yeah, I don't feel like there's – it's kind of like, yeah, everything's slowing down and wanting to change, wanting a change but not wanting to engage with anything but wanting something new, but the new might not necessarily be there. It's just – um like around the home, it might feel like it's there, but everywhere else. We have um, in the relationship, love and relationship sector, we have the Ten of Wands and the Ra. And it's like, again, it's a, it's the week of not wanting to go back to something. It's time to let something go, let go of a burden in terms of a relationship, something heavy that's been carrying around between you or in your heart, in and it, this is very much being guided and supported by the universe here. There's energy here to support this. There is freedom here to support this. So there is an, a release on a heart level coming through, which is actually part of that letting go of that feeling of sort of a burdensome day, like lagging at your feet, that kind of energy. So, yeah, I think that there is a lot of things that need to be released, but the home is feeling pretty good. So there is a slowness, but I do feel like the universe is kind of slowing everything down for you for whatever reason. And we have, as a message from the universe, speaking of which, we have Taitlin the Sylph, number 45. And she's kind of saying, look, it's a time of assessment. It's a day of assessment. It's a day of overviewing, looking, looking over things, reviewing things. Uh, it's a day of... Being able to actually, you know, stop and go over. I know it just seems boring and mundane, but it is important to be able to just make sure that everything's in the right place. So there is, yeah, reviewing, revising, all of that sort of stuff. And it's only just because it's like if anything's been missed, it's like it's being brought up for your attention so that it can move forward in the right way. So that's why everything's kind of it doesn't feel like there's a lot of energy moving forward right at this minute. It feels like a lot of reassessment. So that's kind of the energy of the day. I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Take care.